Hello, my name is Louise and today I'm filming my 68th eyeshadow roulette. I have used every shade twice, at least. I think one shade I might have used three times, but I've only marked two times. Anyway, let's go through the shades. So first, from the Sleeping Beauty palette by Besame Cosmetics, I randomized the shade Grey Blue 104. That one, I love that one. I mean, the palette gives me so much joy. The shade is fine. I mean, not fine, it's good, you know? It's not like maybe the most pigmented, but I liked using it. I liked how I used it, so mm -hmm, use it twice. The next shade was this L'Oreal single that does not have a name, or it has a name, but I've like lost it. <laughs> um, it's very pretty, it's like shifts to green, and I actually used it in, I think, my first look for this two week period. It's a gray blue, mm -hmm. use it twice, it's super pretty. I tried doing like a wash of color with it together with the fifth shade, but I'll get to that. But wash of color, nah, did not do all that much. I would suggest using like a lot. The third shade was from NYX, a single that I got in an advent calendar called Whipped Mocha. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful, like warm toned brown. That one. I've marked I used it twice. This is the one I think I might have used three times, but I am unsure. Um, the fourth shade was from the Nabla Dreamy. This is a beautiful palette. Oh my god, hold on a second. Wow. And it was the shade Illusion, which is that brown. Um, it is, I mean, a little similar to the one, the Whip Mocha, but just a little, a little cooler toned or more yellow. Yeah? I don't know. I use it twice. It's nice. It's beautiful. The palette is beautiful. And the fifth and final shade was from the Naked Three by Urban Decay. Ooh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> And it was the shade Buzz, which is that one. Um, like four of these shades are like almost popping out. So I'm a little nervous every time I open it. Um, so let me just swatch it for you. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty shimmer something, something, something. I had planned on doing like a um, pan that palette with this, but I think it's a little too neutral, but it's pretty. So, mm -hmm. so yes, that shade I also used twice. Those were the shades. Mm hmm use them all twice. They're fine. I mean, it's, it's beautiful, but I don't know. I feel like I'm missing maybe like a warm orange or green or something. So yes. Yes. Um, I'm a little pressed for time. So that's why I'm talking so incredibly fast. I hope I fan fan. I hope I can film this before I have to leave. Ha ha ha. So stop talking Louise, because that will give you more time. So here are these selfies from the past two weeks. two weeks let's randomize new shades and these past few times I have been randomizing according to a suggestion from Isa Skunero Starbreak 4435 mm -hmm. which is to randomize like my singles and my palettes in one and then if I get a palette I choose the first shade in the palette that I have not used in an eyeshadow roulette so that's what so that's what we'll do I have 54 shades and singles I have 42 palettes I know one is like completely done as in I have randomized all these shades, but I cannot be arsed to recount that right now since I have been so stressed for time. So I have pulled up a random number generator and now I will enter one to 96 because 42 plus 54 is 96. And now generate. Oh my gosh, I was thinking about this yesterday. Like what if I get that shade? Oh no, okay. Oh, that's a little bit of a bummer because <laughs> 55 is the Galant Ombre Eclat 4 Couleur, the one I have in my um, eyeshadow, not eyeshadow, in my project pan. And it's the, it's the dark purple, the second shade, the one I'm trying to pan. I forgot that palette at work because I cannot for the life of me find it here. So I will just remember that that's the palette I will be, or the shade I will be using. <laughs> 
but I cannot show you, so let's just randomize the second shade. Oh, that was nice, Anyway, second shade. 72. Ooh, is the... Oh, it's the Odin's Eye Cosmetics. There is one shade left in that palette that I have not randomized. So this Bebe, there are two pressed glitters in this that I do not randomize because I don't like the feel of pressed glitters and I think they've dried out anyway. But so there is one shade in this palette that I have not yet randomized in an eyeshadow roulette and that is copper red. Ooh, that is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay, that'll be... Ooh, okay, that's a pretty shade. Dude. I'm looking at my monitor there. Look at that though. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, let's randomize the second shade 28 a single a single Ooh, ooh. so 28 is the shade sunrise from makeup store let's see which one that is is it this one i think i have two of this one yes so that one i mean it's a beautiful like orangey shade these but the two of them together are copper red and this one they feel wow oh <laughs> feels quite autumnal Ooh, you see there's a little bit of glitter in it or like shimmer, like a gold shimmer. Oh yeah, it's pretty, but you know, mm-hmm, okay, mm-hmm. So, let's randomize the third shade. Oh my gosh, last time and this time I feel like singles. I mean, two singles is a lot out of five, right? So, so another single, and this one is from MAC. It's called Blooming Mad, that one. Oh, it doesn't look much for the world. It's a little bit of a hard pan, so that's a little annoying. Like, I feel like I really have to dig into it to get a good swatch of Rooney, but I wish it showed up more, you know? I'm like really, building up the swatch here because I want you to be able to see it. Ooh, it's pretty though. It's like a pinky purple. I want it to have a shift. Maybe there's like a light, slight lilac-y blue shift. Oh, pretty though. So, mm -hmm. okie dokie, moving on to the fourth shade. Like I said, single heavy. Okay, 11. Oh, I've had it before. It's Lancome Gorgeous Gold. So randomizing again. Another single. Wowza, okay. Um, so number 45 is NYX in Deep Trouble, which I've had before, so randomizing again. What is up with this? Okay, so 38. Um, I've had, oh, not had before. I was about to say I've had it before, which I have not, which I have not, but I have not. Regardless, you wouldn't get it. This is probably the shade in my collection with the most luxe packaging. So this is the, um, Victoria Beckham and Estee Lauder, like before she had her own brand. Um, what's it called? Something Metals Eyeshadow in One Bitter Clove. Look at that packaging. And it's super weighty as well. So, that one. Um, it's like a browny, shimmery something. It's very pretty, but it's, it's a neutral. And we know me in a neutral, so. I feel like this is a very, like, fall look. Is it not? I'm, like, trying to find a good way to show you, but, like, is it not quite, like, autumnal? Anyway. Let's randomize the fifth and final shade. I wonder, I'm hoping for a, a blue or a green, like a bright blue or a bright green. That would be fun. Nah, okay, well, I, I like my second oldest palette then, I guess, which is pretty. So the palette is the Color Quartet Les, Pasta Les Pastels Celestial from Clarins. Wow, don't stress. I'm a little pressed for time, like I have said, so I'm talking too fast. So this palette, it's like a beautiful, like very sheer, shimmery, mm, it's like they're really pretty as highlighters as well. And I have randomized three out of the four. The only one I have not randomized before is this really pretty purple shade. So I think that'll be a nice complement with the purple I already have because this one's super pale. It's mainly like just a, a hint of a color. Wow, okay. I can see it. I know it's pretty, but I will not be able to show you good people of the internet. So that one. Oh my gosh. For me, it's super pretty, but for you, I doubt you can see it. <laughs> anyway, so last week, this week, I do enjoy this feel more though. This feels like more colorful. This is more like wishy-washy, you know, this is really pretty. Oh my gosh, that's exciting. Okay. I'm actually very excited about in particular um copper red and blooming mad i guess also the lilac or like the purple yeah anyway so let's go through these shades for the coming two weeks first we have from odin's eye cosmetics elva Tvo, oop, that one the shade copper red then we have from makeup store the shade sunrise we have from mac the shade blooming mad 
from Victoria Beckham by Esther Lauder, we have the shade Bitter Clove. And finally, from Clarins, we have the purple shade in the Le Pastel Celestial palette. So, yes, I am going to throw on a quick, quick face of makeup. Today I am wearing a, I just want to show you because I love this suit jacket. I'm wearing this suit jacket <laughs> with jeans and this. I feel it's very playful, very springy. Spring has been a long time coming here. Let me tell you, it is super cold still. And everyone's like, what is going on with the weather? It was like two degrees at night a few days ago and it snowed on, was it Wednesday or was it Thursday? No, Thursday, snowed on Thursday in June. <laughs> We're all like, but that does happen sometimes up here. So it's not all that, you know, but it's a little like, come on, just a little more heat, please. I want to plant something in my garden. I'm not a good gardener. So anyway, that is it. Throw some quick makeup on. I'm going to, you know, go and have a coffee with my cousin, which I'm very happy about. And yes, that is all. Um, I'll be using one of these shades. Two of these shades? Two of these shades. I think two of these shades. Oh, I think the two purples today. <gasps> yes, we're doing it. Okay, so quick, quick, quick. Have a nice day wherever you are, morning, evening, night. Mm -hmm. um, take care of yourselves, wash your hands, and if you can, have a hot beverage with someone you care about, and that person could be just, just you, yourself, and I. I will see you soonish, maybe, <laughs> with a new eyeshadow roulette. Bye!